What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of CNC Productions. Turkey season has come and gone. If you guys want to see how we did during turkey season, head over to the Seeing Red playlist on the channel. Um, we had a great season again. Almost went 6 for 6 on uh, kill shot videos. But uh, if you watch, you'll see we had a pretty good time and it was a fun season. For now we're looking ahead to deer season. It's end of July. It's July 29th. Up here on the private land, got some stuff I want to do today. I want to do some uh, tree stand trimming. I want to check the food pots out, see how those are doing. We planted those uh, on the 18th of July and then last Sunday on the 23rd, I believe. And I uh, want to see how they're doing. We had some good rain for the right after the first pot got in, we had some good rain, so I expect that one to look pretty good. And then uh, it's been off and on rain, I've kind of been getting missed in this area, but it's been raining quite a bit this week but I think up here got missed quite a bit so I'm going to check that one out in the back. Got to check some other tree stands out see if those straps are holding up uh, throughout the last year or so. So recheck those make sure they're safe for this upcoming season. I'm going to check the trail cameras again it's been a couple weeks probably check them one more time um, and then start putting those in the fall locations probably on the food pots and trails and mock scrape areas. First spot I'm heading to this morning is the kill pot. Got a lot of trimming to do there. Moved the stand back in June and uh, never trimmed up the uh, shots to the food pot yet, so I'm gonna head there first. All right, we're back at the kill pot. Um, last year we planted clover and threw some rye in here later in the season. And I came in here in June, it was pretty, a lot of dirt. But then I came back here about three weeks ago and the clover took over, ended up coming back from last year and looks great so we're not going to till it at all this year. I just threw some clover on top of the existing clover last week and uh, a couple more rains I think it'll germinate and come back even thicker. But it looks good right now. It looks a lot better than last year even so just going to keep it clover and let it continue to green up and uh, these deer will be hammering it come September. They're probably already using it right now. I'll have to check the camera but yeah, it looks a lot better than last year so I'm going to keep it how it is. So that's where the tree was last year. Pretty open, skylit. Pretty skyline once this deer came in from the west. Uh, would have worked if it would have hit the buck right, but the buck was definitely looking up at me right away. So I um, decided to move the tree again. Um, you can see it up there right there. A lot more backdrop. Still going to be able to hunt it with any north wind, preferably north northwest. So yeah, I got some trimming to do up there and then it's going to be a beautiful setup. So I'm going to get to it. Well, that looks pretty good. That's it for this spot. I'm just going to change the chips and the camera here and maybe rough up the mock scrape a little bit and then on to the next job. Cutting went pretty smoothly. There's a few branches that I couldn't reach but um, plenty enough room to get shots off. You can pretty much shoot this whole plot so um, if they skirt the plot that's going to be the problem but hopefully they come in here and get a nibble of uh, clover or mess with the mock scrape. All right, we're at the front plot. This plot was planted 11 days ago, and this year decided to expand it, double the size. It's about three quarters of an acre now instead of, it was about a quarter last year, probably to where I'm standing now. And then we ran it all the way down to the corner almost. And uh, planted it with all brassica, sweet feet brassica from Northwoods and uh, red clover in some spots. And it's looking really good, actually. Got a good rain, like I said, right after we planted. And I was a little worried about how I over... I was a little worried that I overseeded it, but I used the correct amount. It just felt like a lot, because I was taking forever, uh, making tons of passes. But uh, looks really good so far. Great germination everywhere I look. It's green, so. Might be a little 
thick in some spots, but other than that, it looks just continuing to get some more rain and I think hit it once with some plot boost. It's gonna be a good plot. This is probably the best soil on the property, so I expected it to be the best looking plot. Let's get pretty hot out. So I'm at the back plot. Just uh kind of raking out an area where I'm gonna end up putting a ground blind. We tripled the back plot from last year. It's over an acre now. Uh, planted last Sunday. I thought we got about a half inch rain on Thursday night, but the ground's really dry already, so I don't know if, uh, if we got as much as they said. There's a little bit of germination, but it's nothing like the front. Uh, hoping that it's gonna take off here soon or we get another rain. But yeah, this is gonna be a cool spot if it grows. Over there is where the stand usually is, but we're gonna put a pop up right here and maybe a hang on stand in that tree too, right above it. And uh, be able to cover both sides of this field and be able to hunt this side with a north wind or an east wind. That side's pretty tough to hunt. You need almost a straight east. But yeah, a couple little pockets here where they can scrape under and uh, it's pretty secluded back here so if it grows there's going to be a lot of deer. Hoping to see tripod again this year. Saw them in 2021 for the first time and last year I saw him in person finally and uh, he was still alive. Didn't grow much, got a little bit more mass but just a goofy, he's a three-legged deer. Um, showed up in September of 21 back here and didn't see him that year in person. Then he showed up for the first time uh, October 7th last year during the first cold front. And then I finally saw him in person on like the 20th or 21st back back here. Um, came into about 35 yards, I let him go. But this year, if he's still around, which he works this way towards uh, September and October. That'd be pretty cool if he made it another year. He's, I think he's four years old based off if he was a six pointer the first year we saw him on camera. But he's a tough bugger, three-legged, he gets around, dodges the predators, dodges hunters. So hopefully uh, this plot grows and attracts him for another year. Pretty cool to have the same deer around possibly three years this year. So probably target him if he's uh, around. It'd be pretty cool to get him. So that's about it. I'm gonna go pull the chip that's down the swamp right here. Just wanted to do a quick video kind of heading into the deer season here. We're gonna hopefully post a little bit more in the next couple of weeks. Try to post a bunch starting uh, with this video. We're gonna go scout some Wisconsin land next weekend with Adam. Hopefully get back on the podcast and uh, get a get one of those done too before uh, <clears throat> September. And then uh, head out west again for elk hunt. So, got a pretty busy fall. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to get more videos out, uh, starting with this one. So I'm gonna do this one, scouting video in Wisconsin, like I said, probably a podcast, probably my um, archery setup for this year for out west and, and back at home. So got some exciting stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you uh, next time.